Welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. I'm Hunter Black Luna. We are scanning for alien activity again. <laughs> we haven't found any though. All we found it are uh, things down there. And in any case, I think it's time for some space, don't you? Although first I want to do something real quick. I want to make something that's just like... Uh... KSP Command Center. And just put it right next to the Command Center so I know where it is in case we ever need to land stuff. Or... It'll just be good to keep track of stuff. So this will literally just... Be something we plant. And it is at night right now. Yes, the Sparrow Mark II and some debris are still down there. This thing has gyroscopes over, which should allow me to rotate it off the pad. There we go. <laughs> It'll just be here to make sure we are aware of stuff. Okay, just plant it here and it'll give us an idea of where Space Command is relative to the world because I'm probably going to cancel the sparrows just to keep things neat. But then you can see the KSP Command Center will like always be there. No, don't set his target. Matter of fact, we could even rename vessel to KSP Command Center. This is the base. And it's going to quickly run out of battery charge because we didn't put any on it, but I don't care. We're done anyway. To the Space Center. There we go, and now it even has a base icon. And as for the Sparrow Mark II... Let's switch to that. Yeah. Okay, it is fun and funny to have the Sparrow down here, but we're just going to end the flight. Yeah, end the flight. And back to the tracking station, and that should take care of... Oh, the debris is still down there. And I'm not really sure how to take care of that. Is that going to work? No, it's not going to work. Hmm. I'll figure out some way to take care of that debris, and maybe it'll just be... No, oh wait, let's... Wait, wait, I saw something. Uh... Whatever. Okay, enough messing with that. <laughs> so, our task today is we are going to put something in orbit. Specifically, we're going to put a satellite in orbit. And uh, to do that, we will start a new design. Beginning with the Stay Put Inc. Because we need the satellite, and then we need the thing to bring the satellite up into space. So, first things first, we need an SAS module, correcting flight controls continuously, I like that. 
also RCS thruster blocks, but we're gonna need some fuel for that. Fortunately, we have just such a thing with just such a size. And uh, I do understand things. The fact that having these thrusters here should be a pretty good thing for us. It'll give us some attitude control and stuff while it's there, and it will also let us deorbit this uh, craft if we uh, ever wanted to. The only other things I want to put on are. some communicatron. Communications antenna, which look weird. This one looks like actual, like, legitimate antennae. Okay, that'll give it some communications capability. Now, solar panels, that's what I want, and obviously, a pair of rechargeable battery packs. And, photovoltaic panels, a simple panel, yeah, those aren't... Protective Shroud. Also, we'll put lights on it, I suppose. Just most of this stuff is just, I don't know, for my own entertainment and amusement or whatever. And, uh, Xenon. Xenon gas, which is used in stuff. Specifically, a specific form of propulsion. Uh, d where is it? Not rocket motor. Monopropellant. That's interesting. Where is it? It's like an ion... It's like a form of ion engine. basically be the completed business with a pair of solar panels. Are there any of these that aren't gigantor? I'm a little confused by things. There's these, and there's the Gigantor Solar Array, but there's nothing in between, you know? I don't know, that should be okay, right? We could even put it... Eh, could we put it on top? Not really. This thing is just crammed for space. As a matter of fact... Forget the lights. There we 
you go. That should be lots of... I could have sworn there was a smaller solar panel thing. It's probably around here somewhere. And actually, we can still put lights on this. Oh. Really, this is just me fiddling. After this, however, we are going to be building... something that is capable of uh, carrying this thing into orbit, which is something we haven't done before. So I'll probably show that too. And this is sort of a prototype. In fact, it's uh, very much a prototype. Oh, Wazda. I just want the lights to be pointing upwards. Which, that's not... It's not even like... There we go. I don't know. There's probably no use for that. This thing's center of mass is squarely in the middle. Okay. Shouldn't be too heavy for the lift. Okay, we're gonna call this satellite the... Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna cut out all the me thinking over names. I don't know, we'll just call it something nice and triumphant, like the victory. And remember, this is kind of a prototype, so we're gonna see if it works. And we're gonna build something to deliver it. Okay, this time... We're gonna try something. Ah, uh, let's do this. That'll be... As a matter of fact, what we actually want is another one of these can't put directly, because we need a connector, because <laughs> I'm a genius like that. Rocket Max brand decoupler. That doesn't even look like it's going to keep it straight. Okay, forget that. Uh, problem is, if we put the adapter on this end, it's going to stay on the final product and block the engine. Also, it could have struck the solar panels. There we go. Eh, that's still... big, but we'll just... Shh, it, it's supposed to separate. And we can test out... all sorts of stuff. Okay, we have the decoupler, so now we put on... Big ol' pod. It's not working. There we go. This will be responsible for deorbiting the rest of the stuff. So that there's no debris left in orbit as far as we can help. So it'll need its own battery pair, too. I think it should be fine without any charging. We'll just have to see, though. Yeah, okay. Now 
down we can put <laughs> black stripe along the side will make the rocket go faster. Here's hoping. Because all we need is command, because this is the intermediary stage. And then we put an engine on the bottom. Standard engine, right? Hmm. Thrust vectoring. That sounds like a very useful feature for that leg of the trip. That'll get us on the path we want. And then another decoupler. Putting multiple SAS on a single thing is apparently a bad idea. Now, see, so you gotta use the smaller one again. There we go. Now it looks like it makes a little bit of sense. We're ignoring this top, but we're gonna put some space tape on it or something so it stays. Hopefully. The thing could also just collapse. Okay, now we put on the main rocket. So I'm thinking we're going to go way overboard to get this thing into space. Yeah, this this ought to do it all on its own. But we can add some extra fuel tanks here, I suppose. Probably way overkill, but I'm cool with that. Wait, 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 we need a... Wait, we have a decoupler. Yeah, we have a decoupler. This is just thrust potential and engines. They all need to be... ...stable, though. And, hmm. Stability is going to be an issue. be a slight issue. I wonder what the game's problem with this is. I tell you what, let's try the victory one with just the big rocket. We'll see how far we go with that. We'll do the monster of an engine for heavy lifting. Yeah. Overkill to put a satellite in orbit? We'll see, won't we? Okay, uh, well, actually, we'll put a little bit of vectoring on this, too. A little bit of maneuvering. Yeah, that'll go. Lee did good stuff. Or hilarity. We'll see. I'm just hoping the thing doesn't tip over. That's kind of my hope here. Okay, and we'll add some winglets. Do this thing to help with some flight stability. It could always use it. Okay, uh, this is just the basic... Is there anything else we need? Let's see, engine, fuel, winglets, maneuvering, it separates, there's a second stage which will get this thing into an orbital path. And the thing has an engine of its own and vectoring thrusters to put it into a final orbit. Doesn't need to be pretty, we just need it to happen. Um, 
Let's give it a spin, everybody. Oh, I'll add some space tape first, which is the term for the strut connector. We'll connect this to this. this to this. That should be okay. Hmm. Should it be the other way around? <laughs> We're gonna find out. Prepare for launch immediately. Okay, physically, the craft is reported to be wobbly, sir. Whoa. Also rather tall. Okay. Throttle up. And lift off. There we go. We can pan around. And just watch. that what was that I hit a button honestly I say I should stay on <laughs> well, there's our RCS thrusters uh, separate stages no there's no point this thing is toast this thing is beyond toast let's just help it out being toast Controlled flight to terrain for us, everybody. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, let's check. Okay, all the stages work decently. You can see the thrusters are going. So that's cool. Fuck. Okay, restart the flight. <laughs> Okay, things were going pretty well in, like, that opener, you know? Things were going pretty well. What does the G key do? Okay, well, let's test it. SAS is F. Okay. That's the orbital. Let's do... I don't know. Power up and throttle up. <laughs> and this time, we'll use SAS, which causes the craft to wobble quite a bit. Oh, right, it overheated because of that. That would have happened anyway. Separate the stages. Hmm. Okay, so full burn on it, not a good idea. And once again, we're so incredibly screwed. Okay, trigger SAS, get our... Can we nose up on this thing at all? Let's see if we can deploy the solar panels. This is just me being an... Oh. Will that happen, like, in flight? Okay, the engine is online, but it's not providing us enough thrust to... help all that much. Yeah... <sighs> Using physics warp. Okay, so, the lesson we learned here, class, was... This thing is so big, it's hard to get a good camera angle on it. Okay. We're gonna throttle up full at first, and then take it down to, like, half. 
gauge the SAS and RCS systems. There we go. We're going to throttle up a bit. We're going to watch the engine overheating. Try to keep ourselves on course. The craft is very wobbly. Okay, we're doing a little bit of overheating. Okay, we're lifting off. Boost for a bit. Try not to rip the craft apart. We're burning lots of RCS fuel. Let's take that off. We're not burning it for any practical benefit, as a matter of fact. I probably just wasted resources for no appreciable gain. Okay, we're headed up. We'll want to preserve our engine as long as possible. Man, that thing is made for heavy lifting. We're going to catch the sunrise, it looks like. Uh, she's going to run out of fuel before she overheats. Maybe it'll happen at the same time. Let's just get maximum thrust out of her. And she's done. Detach and begin burning. Whoa! Didn't want to do that. Fuck. Honestly, I'm just being a chuckle fuck here. Could we possibly get ourselves into an orbit just using the thermal... Or just using the ion engine? No, it doesn't have any thrust whatsoever. God damn it, that was me messing with the controls. You thought this might have been a walk in the park or something, everybody? <laughs> uh, nope. God damn it. Okay. Okay. We were doing good, guys. We were doing good. This craft can make it to orbit. <laughs> Dear God. Okay. Gauge. Throttle him. Get us some lift. Throttle down before overheating. Engage the SAS system. Actually, all the SAS system seems to do is... No, wait, it is keeping us on course. More or less. Can we maybe straighten out? Doesn't look like we can. Okay, the rocket doesn't look all that pretty. Gonna reduce the overheat. Honestly, as long as this thing makes orbit, I'll be so happy. I won't even care. I think some more space tape will reduce the wobbliness. Just working the throttle, just working the throttle. Trying to get as much out of this beastie as possible. Okay, throttle down. Get ready to throttle it back up. There we go, the sun's coming up. Full burn the rest of the way. Make ready to separate stages. And throttle up. There we go. Fuck. Come on. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, we got this. Uh, fuck. Engage SAS system. Why is the nose want to point down so much? Mm, this might be what we want. That debris will fall back to Caravan. Most definitely hasn't achieved an escape velocity. I actually can't move the nose of this craft at all. Okay, let's just do it solely on RCS. Okay, now we have control. 
Now we want to bend our path until we make until we make it orbit the planet. That's kind of the plan. Now the thing is, can we make orbit like this? I don't know. Attach that, it's not useful anymore. Alright, throttle up on the engine. We're spinning. I'm not actually sure what kind of maneuver to add. What would even bring us into, like, orbit with the planet? I've never actually done this. Good time to learn, I suppose. Oh, well, that will bring us into... Okay, yeah. We'll add that maneuver. Why is the engine not firing? Are we out of energy? Yep, because the panels weren't deployed. Fuck. Hmm. Looks like we need one more stage. Or I need to stop burning so much. Can't ex or I could extend the solar panels. Mm. This thing's just gonna fall back to curb in. The flight is over, yeah. Okay, restart the fl and Let's add some space tape so it doesn't wobble quite as much. Also some additional winglets, maybe? Stage should be all we need to get it. How do I do an orbital burn, though? That's the question. I guess we just continue to experiment. But the reason I'm here is... Can I just select the tape? Get rid of the tape. No, I can't actually. Okay, I don't actually know if this is going to work or not. But that's like the entire point of the game. So, hey! Let's just friggin' do it. Something about this design is ugly and unbalanced. Also, it's friggin' huge, but I mean we are going to orbit in a rocket. Can't get there for nothing.
that a bit of support? Here. And we should be cool to go. As you can see, I've done things to the rocket. Things I'm not proud of. Clear the launch pad. Now let's see if it stands up, first of all. It might actually not. Oh. It stands up well enough. Alright, throttle like 75%. And engage rockets. to go down. I can barely stop it from going down, honestly. In fact, throttle down, throttle down. What the hell is the problem? Was that the SAS fucking me up? Looks like... no, no. Okay. Okay. Victory debris is on the way down. We didn't even need to have bothered with that. Add a maneuver. Add a maneuver. To take us... God knows where. Okay, there we go. That's good, that's good, that's good. It's good in a sense. We want to mess with it until we get... That will take us outside the solar system. Mm. How do we get it so that we orbit the planet? Which way do we need to bend it until... We have a little bit of time to figure this out. Yeah, that's the direction. Expand upon that. I don't know if we can make orbit at this rate, guys. I don't even know how to work this maneuver planning thing. Uh, 
Alright, we're at our highest point. Let's try. Cause I can't tell the I can't tell how to get this thing to stop spinning. Let's try SAS. Okay, yeah. And the thing is, I can't tell if it's the structure of this thing that's making it go completely wonky. Okay, we're widening. Uh, we may just not have enough fuel for my derp. Probably extend these two. In fact, that's probably a really good idea. Okay, panels extended. We're expanding. Any kind of orbit is good, honestly. Oh wow, we might get it. Now we've ran out of fuel. Well, detach that and engage the engine. Maybe we can make orbit using the thrust from this. Okay, the satellite is functioning as required. We can see... Okay, yes, the engine is going. We are not going to be able to make orbit. Not with this, no. Which is a shame, because it looks like it's in orbit. This thing just needs... Ah, uh, what do you think? One more stage? One more stage should give me plenty of margin of error to fuck things up. Because we're going to start coming down soon. We are burning, right? Oh, the thrust is literally, like, the most minuscule thing ever. You can see... Oh, we might widen her enough. It's very doubtful, though. Can't switch vessels while this one's throttled up. You can see we can struggle, but it's not going to actually be enough. We're on the right track, though. We're on the right track. Now let's activate the communications antennae. <laughs> they can send back some kind of signals. on this thing do nothing. We're getting plenty of electric charge though. Yeah, see, you can see. Basically, this is how much we've widened our... Actually, wait a second. Can't we use our thrusters to try and do that? That might work. We've got plenty of thruster fuel. Direct sunlight.
No, it ain't gonna happen. We may as well throttle down. This thing is almost literally not providing us any power. Let's have a demonstration. Yeah. Ah, the stars are so close. I'd retract the solar panels, so there's not really much point in anything. I believe the atmosphere will do that, yes. This is going to make a very loud splashdown, I suspect. Where do we splash to? Well, we got a significant amount of the planet covered, but that's not really what I was looking for. What ifs? Okay. We can do this. I'm certain we can do this. I'm going to add another stage to the rocket. Someone who actually knew what they were doing probably wouldn't need it. This thing doesn't even look stable. Okay, so going full burn at all is a really bad idea. Wow. <laughs> Bits of debris. Eh, they kind of scattered everywhere. Okay, lesson learned. This thing is highly unstable. Doubtlessly hilarious to anyone who, like, knows what engines do. Okay, we'll take her out at half throttle. Using the SAS system. Half throttle seems to be decent. Need some space tape here for greater stability. You see, she's heavy, she's real heavy. That's kind of the issue here. The more we burn, the more stress we put on the structure. Honestly, I just want distance right now, I just want distance.
going to need to design an entirely new rocket, aren't I? We got almost 14 kilometers into the sky. <laughs> Disable the SAS. Well, crap. All that debris is going to be hard to get rid of at this point. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can do it. Actually, I'm going to go look up stuff and figure out, you know, basic guides to rocketry. Almost got it into orbit. Next time we'll do it, I think. We'll do it and we'll have an awesome satellite in orbit. Then maybe we'll try sending a person up there. <laughs> we'll see.